Back to studio now, we have Saray Jempi, the leader of the UCUNF. I really don't like that uh, acronym, but never mind. And uh, David Ford of the Alliance Party. A uh, big smile on your face today. Right? Oh, well, yes, yeah. it's a very good result for us. We're very pleased for Jim. We believed he was the most experienced candidate. Um, we think uh, that his linkage with uh, a national group now, he goes back as part of 26 MEPs, and uh, that will give uh, real influence where it matters. And as you know, you've been talking about different groups. Europe, uh, Brussels works by groups, mm. and uh, we hope there'll be a new group formed uh, of centre-right parties, uh, which will be non, uh, will, will be p pushing the nation-state, of mm. course, ahead of the union. I suppose you could say that uh, this result is, is kind of shows that the the new link with the Conservatives has had a neutral effect. I mean, you're not, not votes pretty much the same. Jim is where he is because the rest of the unions vote has split. But as far as uh, you can for the well, last a, time UUP, there's no in, real change. In a, well, I'm sorry, but you know, you guys have been down on us from the start, mm. from when we started this. In a three-cornered unionist contest, which mm. has never happened before, mm -hmm. we have increased our share of the vote. Mm. Now you can't deny that. Uh, we'll have to I, I didn't wait. We have to wait. To. We have to wait a few <laughs> moments to see. Uh, the order mm. of election. Mm. Uh, but, I mean, anybody who thought that given the circumstances that we were faced in, in an election two years ago, where we were outpolled two to one by the DUP, to be within a handful of votes of them in the first preferences is huge. And we're taking great comfort from that. We're very privileged to have had that support from the electorate, and we have now got to turn that into practical outworking, because people here are suffering, they're losing their jobs, they're under huge pressure, and our whole entire country mm. is paralysed by rise over expenses and whether the Prime Minister is going to survive for the next 24 hours. So there's a lot of work to do, and, and we will be paying and, very close attention and, to that. And if and when Jim Nicholson gets in, will you be ringing Sylvia Herman and going, na, 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 na? No, I've said all along that we will be working to persuade people that's the way it is. We don't want to shoehorn people into anything. But what I think it demonstrates is that we're now part of a national movement that has people elected in every corner of the United Kingdom and our representative from Northern Ireland would be very much at that table on an equal basis. Mm. Uh, David Ford, hello. Uh, you've been, or your party has been uh, eliminated from the election, but how, how do you think it went for you? I think we've had a very good election. We've had our best result in a European election for 30 years. Yeah. Europe is traditionally a beauty contest with only three places available. We normally do rather badly. We've actually done better than we did in the Assembly election two years ago. We've had a very good election. And you didn't even have a candidate last time round. Well, it's, Because it's, it was an agreed candidate who wasn't an Alliance there was candidate. An, there was an agreed candidate, yeah. and it's well known that Alliance was a large part uh, of, of the course, Gilliland coalition. Sure, of course. Mm. But in terms of a pure Alliance candidate, it is absolutely the best result for 30 mm. years. And I think we've seen that in the quality of the campaign that Ian Parsley ran in the response he received. It's absolutely clear that Ian is a candidate who has places to go and who's been well respected. And I think it's also showing the growth in the party's support that if we can do better this year than we did in an assembly election two years ago, mm. we would clearly be doing significantly better had there been an assembly election today. Are you rather shocked that, was, was it more 1,400 uh, of transfers went from uh, your candidate to the TUV? Well, actually, nobody knows how many transfers went from either Alliance or Greens to particular people. My suspicion from having looked but only at a relatively small sample of those transfers, is there was a degree of a protest vote which went to the Greens and to TUV rather than Alliance transfer. 4,000 had a bigger pardon. 4, yes, there so were 4,000, but I... Say 50% of them were Alliance votes. I, I, I rather doubt if there were as many as 50% of them. There were certainly some. Yeah. But Shopping. funny things, funny things happen in shocked? transfers. Well, I don't think that is the particular point of relevance to Alliance. What was of relevance to us was the first preference mm. vote we got, because that's what people see as mm. their key vote. And it's also clear that the great majority of our votes then went on to support either Alban McGuinness or Jim Nicholson, who was seen as two other constructive mm. candidates. Mark. Well, I was just wondering, uh, whilst uh, you're both in good form with your results at the moment, Surely the growth of the alliance would have been dependent on the demise of the old Ulster Unionist Party. And are you worried that they've had a shot in the arm, it appears, from David Cameron, and they are not on the slide anymore? Well, I, I, fairness to Reg and fairness to Jim Nicholson, they have clearly stabilised the vote and it is not on the slide it was on. 
Uh, I think that there will be interesting things. I think not everything that will come from the Conservatives nationally will necessarily benefit Ulster unionism over the next year before the Westminster election. That is something which will have to be seen as things like economic policies and social policies are highlighted. I also accept the words Reg talks about being part of a significant national group in Europe. The fact that David Cameron is taking the British Conservatives off into some wild blue yonder seeking to gather up allies across Europe and is proposing to leave the EPP, which is the largest single group in the Parliament, could mean that they actually end up with less influence than our friends in the Liberal Democrat group. So all those things are very much up in the air at this point. But what's absolutely clear is that last week we had a very good result and we had it because we had a good candidate putting forward alliance policies and people responded accordingly.